everyone welcome you all in my youtube channel this is the sixth video of the series sc 900 exam moving towards questions question is an organization has developed an application and wants to give the capability to its user to sign in using facebook google and twitter credentials you need to recommend an authentication solution to the team which one of the option would be best suited option a azure ad b2c option b service principle option c legacy authentication option d assigned identities and correct option would be option a azure ad b2c next question select the answer that correctly completes the sentence your chief information security officer does not want to allow port 3389 or 22 for connecting to a virtual machine in azure you need to implement dash service to securely connect ssh or rdp into an azure linux or windows machine through the browser and the azure portal options are azure bastion b azure firewall c azure load balancer d network security group and correct option would be option a azure bastion moving towards next question which basic native cost effective azure service can be used to filter the traffic to azure virtual machine option a bastion option b firewall option c network security group option d ddos protection and correct option would be option c network security group moving towards next question you want to restrict and audit and administrators access in azure active directory which two azure ad features can you use to provide just in time and audit administrator access to azure resources a azure ad conditional access policy b azure ad privilege identity management c azure ad privilege access management d azure ad identity protection and correct options would be option b azure ad privilege identity management and option c azure ad privilege access management moving towards next question which two azure active directory feature can be implemented for end user to see the relevant legal disclaimer or the compliance requirement statement being displayed option a terms of use option b conditional access policy option c sic privilege identity management option d identity protection and correct options are option a terms of use and conditional access policy moving towards next question sign in risk is a signal used by conditional access policy to decide whether to grant or deny access what is a sign in risk option a the probability that the device is owned by identity owner option b the probability that authentication request is not authorized by the identity owner option c probability that user is authorized to view data from a particular application option d probability that given identity or account is compromised correct options could be option b probability that authentication request is not authorized by the identity owner moving towards next question to improve identity security within the organization the security team wants to implement windows hello for business you need to explain the benefits of windows hello for business and which statement is true option a windows hello is an authentication feature built into windows server 2012 at 26 option b windows hello is an alternative to mfa option c windows hello is a secure feature that uses pins and biometric data to authenticate user option d windows hello is a feature 
only for Azure Active Directory Premium customer. And correct option would be Windows Hello is a secure feature that uses PIN and biometric data to authenticate user. Next question, you need to look for a hybrid identity solution between Azure AD and your on-premise Active Directory. It need to provide a simple password validation for Azure AD authentication services by using a software agent that run on one or more on-premises server. Which authentication method should you use? Option A, password hash synchronization. Option B, pass-through authentication. Option C, federation authentication. Option D, directory synchronization. And correct option would be pass-through authentication. Going towards next question. Match the Azure Active Directory device identity on the left to the correct description on the right. Options are Azure Active Directory device identities are A. Azure AD registered devices B. Azure AD joint devices Option C. Hybrid Azure AD joint devices And the correct descriptions would be for option A. Azure AD registered devices. These devices are typically personally owned rather than by the organization. They are signed in with the personal Microsoft account or another local account. Option B, Azure AD joint devices. These devices exist only in the cloud and are owned by the organization. They are signed in with organization Azure AD account. Option C, hybrid Azure AD joint devices. And the correct description would be, these devices are owned by the organization and are signed in with Azure Active Directory Domain Services account belonging to that organization. They exist in the cloud and on-premises. Moving towards next question. The zero trust model operates on the principle of trust no one, verify everything. You need to implement the zero trust model in your organization. Which two options are guiding principle of zero trust model? Option A, verify explicitly. Option B, assume breach. Option C, role based access. Option D, parameter security. Correct options would be option A, verify explicitly. Option B, assume breach.